Hey guys, welcome back to the Daily Disciple channel, helping you become an authentic, inspired, and passionate disciple of Jesus. My name is Isaac, and today we're going to be talking about three questions to ask yourself um, when you're looking for direction. Now, we all have times in our lives where we're kind of past one season of life and on to the next. Might it be, you know, when you graduate high school or, you know, graduate from university or college or whatever, or leaving one job and moving on to the next. And you're just kind of, there's always a question, usually there is, is, okay, where do I go from here? Um, you know, we, we can have different, you know, there's different philosophies in approaching this question is, where do I go from here? Some people are like, okay, you know, trust your gut, trust your gut. And the first question that I want that I want us to ask ourselves is, where do my desires differ from God's desires? Because when the people say, trust your gut, actually the Bible says that our ways are not God's ways and our thoughts are not God's thoughts. So we need to identify, okay, where, what are my desires? What do I want out of this? And what are, how do they differ from what God wants? Because that's what we want to be honing into, um, what God wants for us and doing what God would, would want us to do. Um, so it's that reorienting our perspective onto what God wants. But it takes a certain amount of, you know, stepping back and just taking a breath and just saying, okay, God, what do you want me to do? As opposed to just saying, you know, in my gut, I feel like this is what I should do. Um, because that's not good advice. It's not a good advice to just go on your gut because, um, you know, the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and wicked above all else. Who can know it? You can't even know your own heart. Um, why would you trust that to make good decisions? So um, take a step back, you know, really um, think about where do my desires differ from God's desires and how can I realign um, my desires into what God would want for me? The second question is, um, what are the distractions in my life that might be getting in the way of me developing clarity um, for what God wants me to do or getting in the way of me following um, what Jesus wants me to do or places that Jesus wants me to go. See, we all have these distractions in our lives. I did a, a video in the, a while back saying, you know, like we have lots of distractions in our lives and in a way we're tuning God out and that's not what we want to do. We want to develop a sense of clarity um, with God and relationship with God and in order to do that we need to really push out the distractions um, and it's not easy but it's a matter of identifying the places in our lives that we choose to fill with noise and drain those out until we have uh, you know a, a, a better sense of clarity in silence because I think a lot of clarity comes from silence and just thinking and praying to God um, so that's what the second question I would uh, I would ask you is where are the distractions coming in your lives and how can you um, you know push them out in order to develop some clarity now the third question is probably most important are you ready to follow Christ regardless how difficult uncomfortable um, and tough it may be are you ready for that because sometimes we already have it set in our mind um, something that seems good to us like okay I want to do this because this looks fun maybe this looks exciting or easy or you know pleasurable in some way so I want to go this direction but sometimes that's not the direction that God wants us to go a lot of times it's not most often it's not I would say because in order to follow Jesus passionately and um, following him as a disciple, it requires us to step into uncomfortable places, tough places, painful places. And if we have it set in our mind that we're not going to go there, that's going to be a big hindrance to going where God wants us to go and doing what God wants us to do. So a big question to ask is, okay, honestly, are you willing to go in those tough places, in those difficult places, in those painful places? places in those uncomfortable places in order to follow Christ. Not only in finding direction is this an important question to ask, but in all aspects of our lives. Because if we're more committed to our comfort than we are to following Christ, we have a priority issue. And this was something that I had to come to terms with as well. You know, when I was in university, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. I had this um, nagging, um, nagging conviction 
through the Holy Spirit, I do believe that it was for me to continue to do this more um, effectively and consistently and put out content and cultivate um, relationships with people online through ministry and helping them, inspiring them to follow Christ more passionately. And I, I, but yet I was like, no, but it would be so much more comfortable just to stay where I am. Um, but, but it was coming to terms with the fact that, you know what, I need to be willing to follow Christ wherever he leads, regardless of how uncomfortable it may be, regardless of how painful it may be, regardless of how, how tough it may be. Because when we come to terms with that, then we're able to follow Christ more passionately and more faithfully. But until we do that, we never will. Um, so that's my word of encouragement for you today. I hope you, you know, learned something. Maybe you were inspired. Um, hopefully, uh, you were challenged to be more serious about following Christ. Um, I know in my life, uh, this kind of message uh, has been a tough one for me to swallow. But yet, when you really take it in, um, it brings you that much closer in relationship to Christ. So I hope you guys feel the same way. And um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. <laughs> There's new videos coming out um, like this all the time. And uh, hit the bell button. I don't ask you guys to do that very often, but I hear it's helpful for you to get notifications when the video comes out. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I hang out a lot, post a lot of cool graphics and just stories and uh, get to know you guys better um, through messaging on there. So join me there and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.